How's it going, everybody? It's me, Andrew Garfield from Tick Tick Boom. I just rolled out of bed, um, but I had to make this video because if you saw my previous reaction to Assassination Classroom, um, you know that it ended shorter than I had intended. That video was supposed to capture episodes one and two, um, but then my reaction episode one ended up being kind of long, uh, so I just released it as in episode one reaction and like totally shot myself in the foot because now there's a bunch of parts in this video where I make reference to the fact that I'm reacting to two episodes. So anyway, just me, future Danny, letting you know what the deal is. I, I'll probably be back later. Hi, yes, hello, it's much later now. I had to go to the gym before they closed, so now it's nighttime. We're still going? This train don't stop, baby. We got two, two episodes per video right now. Nope. Our nation's current egg surplus crisis Poultry farmers across the land are throwing out their excess in bulk. No! God damn it! They can't keep getting away with this! They can't! Also, she missed a great opportunity to say excellent, so I'm pissed. Right. All the stuff you need's been set up outside. Excellent! Everybody to the- Is she saying excellent? Right. All the stuff you need's been set up outside. Excellent! E okay, she is, she is saying excellent. Good. Very good. Yeah, she fucking better. They're creative. I'll give them that. How they come up with this stuff, I'll never know. You gotta love the show patting itself on the back there. God, how do they keep coming up with new, clever, and engaging ideas every week? The idea is to plant bombs and anti sensi BBs into the giant pudding's face when he eats- Earlier, the bully character, I forget his name, Takaoka or something? Earlier, he was like, oh, what are you gonna do, make a big omelet with a bunch of anti sensei BBs in it? Yeah, he'll never see that coming. This is a hundred times more suspicious. Mayonnaise factory. Once this show has gone absolutely nuts. Look at this fucking scheme. We're making a literal mountain of pudding right now. I'm fine with it. I just want everyone to recognize how ridiculous we've gotten. It weighed too much. Totally collapsed. Just saying. Oh, well, could you have just said that before I poured 30 pounds of sugar into this bowl? You know that it has a significantly higher melting point than gelatin? Making it perfect for keeping our pudding firm in the September heat. I like how this show is trying to convince me this isn't a ridiculous idea. It's like, see, this isn't ridiculous. A mountain of pudding could totally exist. A mountain of pudding could physically exist. And this is a ridiculous idea. Don't think just because you crunch the numbers, this isn't a wild plan, okay? Most of the time, Kaino's more in the background than center stage. That's probably why I've always pegged her as the supporting role type. Now, I can say you're the last person to make these kinds of judgments. You're in like 30% of your own show. You shut your supportive type ass up. It'll be tastiest if the flavor changes halfway through. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my god, I love this. This is gold. I love this montage of her spending countless nights doing research to make Mount Pudding exist. Wow! Your calculations were spot on, and if I had not picked up on the distinct scent of plastic explosives, your scheme might have very well worked. Well, you really fucking dropped the ball on this one, kid. Even I know that plastic explosives have a strong smell. That's not even a joke, like, I knew that. Like, they train dogs to sniff them out. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Who was that woman? Uh, you gotta address that! <laughs> Yo, I love Karasuma being an absolute terminator. So, son, what'd you do at school today? Well, our teacher hunted us down in the woods and then he hit us. We'll go at it right here in the wilderness. Bad cop, good cop will take on a whole new meaning. Oh, wow, so she's just like straight up trying to fuck him now, huh? Also, I know Karasuma's like not interested in Yelovich at all, but you know he's into some crazy shit, right? Bring it on, you son of a bitch! <laughs> like waterboarding. Even though they're doing a training exercise, that was excessively mean, right? That was exceptionally brutal. I'd be pissed. There was absolutely no reason for him to dunk her. I'm innocent. I don't even know anything about this. Okay, I know I give this show shit sometimes for being a little dull, but I do not need to experience the Kuro Sensei as a sexual predator arc. That is too fucking intense. Bring it back to the bug catching episode. Oh my god, guys, check out the roll book. He put letters next to all the girls' names. Kuro Sensei knows our cup sizes. Okay, I know he's getting framed, but he better be fucking getting framed. If he's like stealing the students' underwear, there's nothing they could do about it. And that's fucking terrifying. Again, there's like no way that this is actually happening, but if they stuck to that twist, 
This would without a doubt be the darkest show I've ever seen in my life. These kids would just be forced to attend a class run by a sexual predator and they can't do anything about it. One episode of that would give me a fucking heart attack. You know what we need? A good old fashioned after school barbecue. Doesn't that sound like fun? Kuro Sensei, you deflecting the situation is not helping your case. Screw together. <laughs> Kuro Sensei, you having brawls on sticks is not helping your case. The heat. Is he stealing underwear? That'd be pretty serious. Compared to blowing up the earth, I say it's precious. I see what you're saying, Karma. However, I don't think your female classmates would appreciate that attitude. As for what's in this for the real cope- I hate that every paper on that wall just says tentacle. What, did HP Lovecraft decorate this room? A big guy with a yellow head. Yeah, thank God. Hang on, isn't that guy Mr. Kurosawa's underling? Oh, fuck off. Barely a twist. He's like a background extra. So sh Oh! Oh, shit! Mecha Itona! Yo, what did I tell you? This season's coming in swinging. We're gonna get fucking Robo Itona next episode? That's a hype. And those are the first two episodes of season two. Sorry for the wait, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Patreon if you're able to. With your guys' support, I'll keep making videos you love, and also videos you hate. Hey guys, I'm back. Man, what a fun journey this has been. This video ended up being a little shorter than I wanted it to be, but I just want to let you guys know I'm gonna keep aiming for like around 10 to 15 minutes with the reactions. Also, um, let me know what anime movies you want me to react to because I want to do some movies in the future. Wolf Children, Boy and the Beast, uh, and Weathering with You, uh, and the new My Hero Academia movie are on like the top of my list. So let me know, uh, uh, what ones you guys would want to see me react to. Anyway, back to the other guy. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to free.